Okay, so we are going to draw the Western Hemisphere. And I've given you guys 11 by 17 today. Or maybe it's 8 and a half by 14. Okay, so we're going to do a grid. Now, one of the interesting things I found out earlier this year when I was trying to figure out how we we're going to draw all this was if you fold it in half, fold a piece of paper in half, this becomes the equator. Right? And then if you fold it in half again, this becomes the 45th parallel. So this here represents the equator. And this represents the 45th parallel north and south. OK, now what's half of 45? and the equator, this becomes the Tropic of Cancer. And the Arctic Circle. We're only off by about one degree latitude, which at this scale is going to be very, very negligible. So when we fold our papers, we started with one full this way, one fold, a second fold, which will give us the 45 degrees. And then going in between those will give us, and I'm going to have to rough it here. Will give us our tropics. Which one's up here? The Cancer. Cancer. Good. Which one's down here? And what these are going to do is they're going to give us, so by folding our paper once, twice, thrice, we are going to get some landmarks so that when we draw our map, the whole Western Hemisphere, it's going to give us a place to start. And then drawing halfway, halfway down the side. Now, halfway between the prime meridian and the international date line runs through the Western Hemisphere. And it's actually going to be a little over here. But this is going to be, that's just our midline. And that is just for us. So this one here is going to be what? This tropic. Oh, tropic of cap. Good. Oh, so it was tropic of cap. Right. Now, obviously, this is going to be a Mercator projection, which means we've taken the Arctic regions, which are really quite small, and blown them up to be just as wide as the tropical regions. But that helps us to draw and not have to worry about all of the curved lines and other distortions. And since the whole point of this is to learn how to how geography works by drawing. We're just going to deal with that fact. Okay, so here we are, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, then down here, this would be the, what circles? Ozone. The Arc, Arc, oh, Arc, Antarctic and Arctic circles. Good. And does anyone know what Arctic and Antarctic means? The, I don't know what Arctic means, but Antarctic means opposite of the Arctic. Well, yeah, you're right. It does mean opposite of the Arctic. Arctic, has anyone heard of Ursa Major or Minor? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are what, what's the English name for those? Constellations. They are constellations. What are they specifically? The big bear and little bear. The bear constellations. Arctos is Greek for bears. This is inside the circles of the bear. Oh, bear. Well, the, 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 the uh, major, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor. And so opposite Ursa, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor is Antarctic. Okay. So, one way to do this is to keep track, and now I'm 
cheating wildly by having my, my tablet here. Is to keep track of what is in which section. So, for example, I know Canada is in the Antarctic Circle. Because Great Bear Lake is on Arctic. Arctic Circle. Oh, yeah, Arctic, not Antarctic. Okay, so the Lake. equator, the equator is going to be, does anyone remember what country runs through the equator? In South America. Oh, um, Brazil. Brazil does run through part of the equator. I was thinking of Ecuador, because oh. Ecuador means an equator. So, right here, on this half, we're going to rough in South America. So right here is going to be where the equator is. We're going to come bring it over not quite like one eighth. So here is the curve where the equator will be. And then right here above the Tropic of Capricorn, we're going to stop this curve. Then from the Tropic of Capricorn, we're going to go fairly straight down through the 45th parallel. And we're going to curve right here in between the 45th and the Antarctic. So far so good? Yeah. OK, and then. We are going to, this is Tierra del Fuego and the Strait of Magellan. We're going to curve up. And yep, right here, we're just going to come out this way. And almost to the edge is the point of Brazil. We're going to come back. And where the Amazon River comes in is pretty much right there on the equator. And then up. And now we have roughed in South America. So as you can see, South America, you start here, where the equator, where, where Ecuador will be. Okay? Curve down, almost to Tropic of Capricorn. Go straight down, kind of all the way through, halfway between the 45th parallel and the Antarctic. Tierra del Fuego. Come back up almost to the edge of our paper. Duck in at the equator for the uh, Amazon River. Here. Okay, so right above where Ecuador is, we're going to have this tail, right? And we're going to have to squeeze all of South America, all of Central America, except for Mexico, in here. Because Mexico is actually going to come here and up. Oops, sorry, it does not pass the crop Tropic of Cancer. So here is Mexico, the Gulf of Mexico, right here. You see that? So you're going to make a C that almost touches this midline and doesn't quite touch the crop of cancer. And from here, we're going to wedge in. It really is kind of wedging. We're going to wedge in Brazil, you know, Belize. Costa Rica. Then America. Very good. And we're gonna make up the kind of bent triangle shape that is San Salvador, Honduras, there, and Costa Rica. And then we're going to Costa Rica and Panama. So you see how that's gonna work? I realize that, you know, this is going to be very small on your papers, too, isn't it? I can do that small. I've done smaller. Okay, I'm glad. Yeah, remember my math problems that you no. say I need to do bigger? Yes, you do. Okay, so you remember we kind of have a launch pad and a circle here, right? And we have Cuba. Jamaica. Cuba, Jamaica. Here comes Haiti. Yeah. Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico. To the east. Uh -huh. And then to the Caribbean. Mm -mm -mm. I apologize once again. Uh, trying to make sure I do this. They have to be under the Tropic of Capricorn of Cancer because they are not. They are all tropical. They are not subtropic. So we are going to. I think my problem is. This board is not the same 8 by 14 perspective that your guys' is. Okay, but you remember that Haiti and the Dominican Republic and all of that, they have to be under the Tropic of Cancer because otherwise they are not tropical islands and they most assuredly are. Then what you get? Okay, now to go up to the United States. 
very bad Cuba. I apologize to all Cuban people. We're going to come around, and Florida is going to point at Cuba. It cannot cross the Tropic of Cancer. Florida is actually technically speaking temperate. Although I did make, and make it in, in Texas is a little smaller. We're not drawing all 50 states, not today. Okay. And then coming on the back side of Mexico, we're going to have, remember that kind of shoe, the pointy-toed shoe? Mm -hmm. The sole is going to be underneath the Tropic of Cancer. And then it's going to come up. And then Baja California is going to just cross the Tropic of Cancer there. So far, so good? All right, we're at this 45 degree this is actually going to be the tip of Michigan. Yay, Michigan! I'm not prejudiced, not at all. <laughs> and that means that the line going from the United States and Canada is up above the 45th parallel. I believe it is the 49th parallel. And one of the reasons the 49th parallel was chosen was because if you went up to the 50th parallel, it would have been Winnipeg, Minnesota, not Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, and that was a big trading uh, place at the time. So from here, we're going to go across. I'll you know, make the Olympia. Um, Peninsula, the Puget Sound. We're going to come down. And from here, of course, to do Mexico, because Mexico still has Baja California. They connect. We're going to go up, about halfway across, down, down, and you're going to just cross this halfway mark as it exits. So here we have Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, and most of the United States. So we have here the Great Lakes, Superior, Michigan, now, don't forget, there is this peninsula. I believe it's called the Ontario Peninsula. I apologize to Canadians if I'm wrong. So we're going to have... No, that is in Ontario, Mom. There we go. Now, right here at the 45th parallel, we're going to... Yep, okay. Making sure, starting from Florida, we're going to bulge out and back. And those would be the Carolinas. We're going to come out for this little divot of New Jersey, up here for Massachusetts, and then the very bottom of, the very tip of Maine will be right here on the 45th. We will come up, and then you will basically go back, and there's the United States. A little wonky, because my map board is it's a little wider. Yours is better than mine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make sure this doesn't die on me again. <laughs> All right, so now from here, we're going to put in the um, Hudson Bay and it's going to anchor our Canada. Hudson Bay is straight north from Michigan and it's going to go all under the Arctic here. So we're going to make a circle. No. Right? To make it's the Hudson Bay and then James no, Bay is going to come down here. Just like that. Remember this from week one? Teardrop. Yeah, okay. Do you like a teardrop? I like that too. And I'm producing a tear. Okay. Now, um, here, this peninsula here, I forgot the name. I need to do my review too. It does not touch the Arctic Circle, so it has to go under that, come way out here, almost to where these islands in the Caribbean, so it comes way out here. And then back like that. And remember that the St. Lawrence Seaway is the border between Ontario and New York here, but it is not the border here. So up here, we're going to have to create this little bit of Canada of Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. So here, here, Prince Edward Island is there. And then up here, Newfoundland and Labrador. We make kind of this 
wonky, squarish no. thing with a with a. Uh, Part of it's on land, Bomb. Uh, that is an island. No, not all of it. No, Newfoundland Labrador. You're right, but who said Newfoundland Labrador was that? Thank you for correcting me. Okay. So we have the United States. Now we're working on the rest of Canada. Up here, this border of Canada is going to go up past the Arctic Circle. So we're going to take this up here, okay? And we're going to go somewhat straight across. I am not being very accurate here. I apologize. And we are going to go all the way out here to a straight line because what's beyond that straight line? Uh, I mean, uh, Alaska. Alaska, good. And then we're going to generally come back this direction. We have the mainland of Canada. Now, right here off of Olympia uh, Peninsula and Puget Sound, we're going to put in Victoria, uh, Vancouver Island. And then Alaska, which is down here, it's like this little ragged tail with a bunch of islands off of here. Alaska is going to come out and you're going to make the shape of Alaska. And it's going to, my apologies, it's going to cross the Arctic, it's going to bulge out here, cross the Arctic Circle with this small protruding uh, peninsula. You can tell it's late, you can tell I did not have as big a lunch as I should have. That bulge out there, and then we're going to follow that out this way. Now, we're not going to have enough room to put everything up here, so we're just going to try to cram a few of the major islands here. There's Baffin Island that will come like that, right? Uh, we've got Victoria and a few others up here too. I want to say Ellesmere, but my brain is also saying that is not right. And over here, we're going to have the coastline of Greenland. Greenland is going to descend out beyond the Arctic Circle. There. Okay, so we have Bank Greenland, Greenland, United States, Canada, Canada Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. But we don't have Peru, do we? Yes, we do. No, we don't. We have South America. We don't have countries. So now, we're going to want to make the triangle, remember that is Ecuador. And then from Ecuador, we're going to follow this, and we're going to make a C, we're gonna walk and we're to going America. to come down we're to where go this goes in. Now remember, Bolivia does not have any sea access. This is actually a result of a war that did happen, and they're still kind of sore about it, and they're trying to get sea access back. But for right now, Bolivia does not have sea access. So, uh, Peru joins with Chile. Trina, we're going to come out here until it touches the Tropic of Capricorn, and then we're going to go right in along, all the way down, until we come down across the bottom and she can, and it gets half of fire Tierra del it. Fuego and Tierra del Fuego gets cut in half. Yes. Okay, so Argentina is going to come up and over just a tiny bit into the tropics. Venezuela. And yes. Are we done? Okay. And it's going to come. Oh wait, sorry, there's Peru, there's a Paraguay. So remember the Paraguay peanut, it's gonna be halfway above and below the tropics. And then down here is Uruguay. And then from here down to here, and that's going to be Argentina, Uruguay, kind of like an upside down U, and Paraguay. And then from here, this point of the Sea of Peru, it's going to come up a tiny bit, and then you're going to make a jagged line down to this part of Paraguay. And that's going to be Bolivia. Then a lot of this is going to be Brazil, no? Yes. Yeah. So just fill in the other countries and then there's Brazil. Almost. That's pretty much what we're going to do. 
Okay, so from this point of Peru, we're going to make just the tiniest line out, then up and over, and then we're going to jog north, and then kind of northwest. And this is going to be what? Cuba. That's Cuba. Colombia. Well, yeah. Good thing we're doing a review, right? Yeah. Okay, you're going to make a teardrop shape off of this line between Venezuela and Colombia. And then you're going to come over and up. And this is going to be Venezuela. And then finally, you're going to drop down and go over. And then you're going to basically go one, two, three. So we're going to walk around South America, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, Ecuador, Ecuador, Brazil, hey, French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana. So there we go for our outlines. What sort of Mountain ranges, do you guys remember? The Appalachians and the Rockies. Okay, where are the Appalachians and the Rockies? Um, in America. Mm, technically speaking, this is all the Americas. Amer uh, Appalachian in, is closer to Florida and Rockies closer than to California. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the Appalachians are going to run from up here in Canada all the way down. So we've got the Appalachians and the Rockies, we said it out here. They're going to run all the way through Sierra and Sierra Madres. We've got the Sierra Madres Occidental and Sierra Madres Oriental. And then up here, all the way through into the Canadian Rockies, right? And then what about over here? There's there's a mountain range running down the back of Australia, uh, not Australia, but um, South Africa. South Africa? Yeah. Do you mean South America? South America. Okay. <laughs> what is? Yeah, I can tell that we're getting to the end of the school year. You guys are losing it. Okay. What is the name of this mountain range? The backbone of South America. Well, while it's true that this entire mountain range is called La America Cordillera, meaning the backbone of the Americas. And then the mountains go all the way down into the Antarctica. They kind of do. They go underwater a little bit. Yeah, but there you go. Okay, so this is the Andes Mountains, remember? Mm -hmm. And these are the Rockies. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Yeah, And Rockies. then what about in here? Do you remember what these are? No. These are the Sierra Nevadas. Hmm. And then up here are the Okay, we have the Cascades. And I believe in Canada that's called the Coastal Range. And up here is the Brooks Range. What water features do we remember? Pacific and Atlantic. Okay, good. So we can just label these. Oop, I forgot a major part of the United States. Does anyone know? Um, the Great Lakes? No, I would never forget the Great Lakes. I grew up there. Mississippi River? Hawaii. Hawaii. 
And why he needs to go under the topic of cancer. Okay, so what is this region here? Mm. Oh, the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. And what about this region here? The Caribbean. Good. I can never spell Caribbean. I apologize to the Caribbean. I cannot spell it. What's this? Uh-huh. Hudson Bay. Uh-huh. The Hudson Bay, to be exact. And this? The Gulf of Oman. Um, That's no. in Europe. This is not in Europe. No, but she said the Gulf of Oman. Yes, the Gulf of Oman is technically in the Middle East. Oh. Uh, I believe this is St. James Bay. Uh, oh. And then we have Lake I said, Superior, I said I Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. Iceland. Iceland would be way <laughs> over here, but we're not. We're just doing. The, we're just practicing the Western Hemisphere. There's Denmark on there. There is not Denmark on there. <laughs> yes, that there. is not Europe. Yes, there is. No. Greenland. Greenland. Okay. Greenland belongs to Denmark. You are being a smart athlete, aren't you? Okay. It's so sorry. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like quiz. All right, all right. Okay. It literally says it, Mom. It literally says it. Then up here, right on the Arctic Circle, we have this kind of four-lobed lake. No, five. It's five-lobed. It's five arms. It has five arms, Mom. It has five arms. Okay. So this is what lake? Great Bear Lake. Good. I knew it because I drew that. Congratulations. What is over here between our halfway point and below? Lake Winnipeg? No. <laughs> it looks kind of like a bird. It does kind of look like a bird. This is Great Slave Lake. Now right here, we've got this halfway, and I've had to adjust things back and forth. But right here next to this is a pair of lakes. Does anyone know? Lake Winnipeg? That is Lake Winnipeg there. <laughs> Good. What, um, let me think. Strait of Magellan? Can I remember? Seth, in Africa. That's in Africa. <laughs> Oh, what major river goes along in here? The Amazon. Yes, the Amazon River Basin. All right, we're just doing the Amazon. You start from this dip right in here, and it goes, yep, it goes across up to where Peru is here, and it goes into Peru just a little, little bit. Okay, what else, what else? Well, we have the Mississippi River Complex, right? So that would come up here. Then we have the Ohio River. We have the Missouri River. What else? Have Saint the uh, Saint Lawrence Seaway, and so on. But unfortunately, we are out of time. But at least I hope this grid helps you guys to draw this this week. So practice the Western Hemisphere, and then we will be good to go for next week when we do the Eastern Hemisphere.